Welcome back everybody, Maxwell here bringing you another episode of Hero of the Kingdom. Uh, last time, well, we found out my dad's a general. Was a general. Was a general. I met the king. I mean, you know, powerful people one after another. I'm even a crocodile. What if I kill him? Anyway, so we're trying to find Master Sadon, uh, the great mage that helped my father uh, back when. Uh, but now we're going to talk to some witchmen. Oh yeah, he was a witchman. I, I said watchman last time, wrong. Anyway, the witchman just the witchman just desperately stared at the empty village. I can imagine his feelings, but almost all his family was taken. I'll try wait, what? Was, I'll try to ask about the scarags. According to the description, the scarags are other strange creatures, some kind of lizardmen. They even have their own city deeper in the swamp, which is the south down the river. Oh hey. Oh, well, what's this? <gasps> it's the uh, plant thing majigger that I was supposed to find for that woman in town. Where's the alligator? I. What is it? It's alligator for fresh water and crocodile for sea salt water? Or is the other way around? I don't remember. Alright, let's search. I need three scouts now. Oh, so many now. Alright, give me another scout. Uh, let's talk to the woman. Give her her thing. There you go. Ooh, 50 gold and four more medallions. Or what's technically fame, but you know. I just want to be a gold warrior. That'd be cool. Oh, wait. Yeah. There's another task. Oh, right. Uh, you will be much more great careful next time, so it won't be late. Okay then, good. And... down here? Yeah, let's search this area. I should be through the scouts and start to search the swamp in small groups. Maybe we'll be lucky and we'll find the scarabs. Oh, hello, a village. Oh, oh no, walls. Oh, hello. Uh, you. Hey! No! Go away! Who are you? Is that you, Simon? Ah! Simon, my friend. Oh, I'm Simon. <laughs> I found this madman in the empty Frogman village. It is impossible. It is impossible to talk to him. He keeps repeating a name. Simon, probably his friend. Okay then. Scarabs keep their prisoners in, in this part of the city. They are almost exclusively local frogmen, but I think I can see a man there. I think this could be Master Sadok. It won't be easy to rescue me, then. A good plan is necessary. Maybe I can ask the frog what witchman. He must know what what's the best weapon. Okie dokie then. Uh, ooh, there we are. Anything else? Ooh, over there. Ooh, pickaxe. Nice. Arrow. So, this. Oh, I can't far harvest any more of these plants. Seemed important. Alright, dude. What can you tell me? told the watchman about the city of the Scarags and the captive frogman. He flipped over his eyes as in some kind of trance. I have no idea what it means. I asked him about the weak, pan weak points of the Scarags. The witchman was still in his trance, so I was going to repeat my question, but he suddenly... Scarag is a strong warrior. But I feel that you are much stronger. That's much better, Croak. Uh, I'm glad that the Witchman thinks I'm stronger, but what am I supposed to do about the city full of scarabs? Uh, a direct attack would be dangerous for my soldiers, and also for the prisoners. Luckily, the Witchman is going to help us. He will make a potion that can make the scarabs fall asleep for a while. Well, that's very convenient. But I have to find all the necessary ingredients first. Uh, blooming moss and, oh, the sun solution, right? I can buy some of these, but some of them will only go up here in the swamp. Oh, is this one? Yeah, it is. Oh, it only takes time to get these. This is fine. I was thinking it was going to take a basket, which would have been annoying, really because that's a lot of freaking time and money. Oh, oh. Can I get all of them? No. So I'm going to so that's down here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, so I have them all now, right? Okay, now sun solution. Buy it here? No. That's not. Uh, the with the old lady up here. Right? No. 
Who do I buy them from? The Alchemist? Uh, you? Who do I buy you? What? Where do I buy you from? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, right here? Yeah. Damn, 50 gold. You're, you're an expensive quest, you know that? Alright, some poison, please. Or, sorry, not poison. Sleeping potion. Done. The potion is ready. All I need to do is scatter it in the air in the vicinity of the scarabs and they fall asleep. I have to be careful as the potion is active for a short time only. Aha, I can try to rescue the prisoners with the sleeping potion made by the witchman. I have to be fast. The potion worked just perfectly. The guards fell asleep and I rescued the frogmen. Yay! Something strange happened as I was trying to rescue Master Sadon. He just got out of his cage, said we would meet at the castle, and then disappeared using some kind of magic. What the heck, man? No, thank you? I guess I'm going back to the. Oh, hello. I took all the rescue back to the frogmen to the village. They went to their bamboo houses. No, thank you? Okay. Ah, there we go. The witchman was so happy to see them. He gave me different valuable herbs as a reward. Hey! Witchman will make a poison for me for free. All I have to do is bring in necessary ingredients. Oh, okay, what's this? Algae. Also, is the, uh, I assume... Magical potion. I assume I have to get that. To fight the skeletons. But first, let's talk to you. Master Sadon is in the castle, as he said he, when I tried to rescue him. He was talking to the king and my father. As I approached, he looked at me and said, So here comes our hero. I'm sorry for such a fast departure, but there was no time to be polite. The master mage explained to me that he had allowed himself to be captured on purpose. He needed to know what was going on in Skarag City. He suspected that something dark was going on in there. There was no danger to him, because he could escape any time he wanted using magic. Oh, that's... That's annoying. The thing he found out... The things he found out are disturbing. Scarabs are under the control of the Dark Lord. I dare say that even the goblins in the mines and the undead monsters in the cemetery have something to do with his dark plan. All the clues indicate that the Dark Lord is going to destroy or conquer this country. Master Sadon says that we have to act as soon as possible. By who was held by the Scarags, he found out the Dark Lord uses the portal close to the Scarags to get his to his hideout. If we could use this portal, we would be able to attack him directly in his in his hideout. This surprise attack would be a great tactical advantage. I have observed that portal, and I think I know how to use it. According to Master Sadon, the portal can be activated using five rune stones. Master has such a stone with him. Master has such a oh wait, well, the, my dad has one too, right? He found it when he fought the Dark Lord for the first time many years ago, but he didn't know what it was good for back then. I put a hand into my backpack and pulled out the runestone which I had taken from the bandits. Oh no, it was from my bandits, now I remember. The bandits. Master Silence started to pay more attention immediately. Where did you get that? That's a runestone of the Dark Lord! I explained to him how I managed to take the stone. I think it is not an accident that the leader of the bandits had this stone. It is very possible that the other servants of the Dark Lord had similar runestones. I gave my runestone to Master Sidon in order to keep it safe. I'm going to have a, we're going on a difficult mission. I have to get the other three runestones. I think I'll have to fight with the goblins, scarabs, and skeletons. Well, look, three. Ooh. <laughs> Despite the fact that I tried to look fearless, my father knows me and he saw that I was scared. Don't worry, my son. You are strong. You've become a great warrior. I still have no idea how old I am. Like, seriously. Uh, you can make it. It is. I asked Master Sadon how I was supposed to fight the undead monsters in the town cemetery. He told me that I need a powerful weapon. Maybe a mace would be the best choice. I have to immerse the weapon in a magic potion. That's the only way to hurt the undead. Yep. Uh, oh, no tiny one over there. Alright, let's go and get some of those magic potions, because I have a mace already. Anything fancy here? Nope. Oh, here. Anything else? Oh, all right. Magic potion. Oh, oh right uh, one, two, three. We'll go with three. No idea if I need that many. 
ton of people. Alright, now let's fight him. My mason hand, my magical hand. Ah. Great. Oh, whoa. Gold necklace. Damn. Great. This weapon will be with the magic potion really works. The only thing remaining is a mass of old bones. I found a gold necklace there. Ooh, ghost. Hey, because I can <laughs> I can talk, talk to dead people. I'm not surprised uh, that I can see a ghost in the cemetery since I helped the fisherman Jack. I mean, you should still be surprised that you can talk to dead people. I have a strange ability to understand ghosts. I will try to listen to this one. He told me that he died during a fire in his house in town. He left here his daughter Mary, an orphan, who is terribly poor now. He asked me to find her and tell her that there are some coins under their burnt house. Oh, how sweet. Uh, what's... Uh, whatever. I need help of a skilled warrior to beat this group of undead. Yeah, oh wow, I need a lot more. Oh no! Oh wow, why am I my shield? Bastard! Oh, I got a spear. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I need a shield. Oh, oh man, I ran out of health, too. That's inconvenient. Alright. Burned house. Where's the little chat? I don't know. Well, I'll sure I'll find her. Right. Uh, shield. Wow, Zephanie, so expensive. Uh, yeah, he's one more of these potions. I'll go with one at a time because I don't want to massively overspend the money. Do I have any bread left? Four. Let's go sleep a few times. Because, you know, uh, need them strength. Ah, so pretty. Although I wish there was like a fast cutscene type thing where it's a fair session. No. Escape? No. I guess we'll just have to look blankly into the abyss of sparkles. And one more time. Alright, so there's some mushrooms there. Ooh, the mushrooms down there. Oops, nice over here. Let's just go through everything so I can find anything that's left over. Quick glance. Probably gonna miss up all of the things. Uh, some mushrooms. Da 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 mushrooms. Alrighty then. Uh, let's fight some more skill things. On guard! Not my maze! God! Alright, who am I selling these gold rings and other gold things? Oh, look! Yeah. Alright, I need a mace and another potion. My mace! Ah. Ah! Here's the orphan. Please give an orphan a piece of bread. I found Mary as she was begging on the square. I offered her my help as I promised her dead father. I told her to wait for me at the burned old house. I told Mary how I had met her father's ghost. She thought that I was lying to her and making fun of her. Seriously, you followed all the way over to there just on a whim? I mean, I couldn't have done anything to you. Uh, anyway. You know, fear strangers. I insisted on my words, so I proved them. I told her about the money under the house. Yes, yeah, search it. 150? What? What? You, you were right. I can't believe it. Now she give those coins to Mary. She'll never have to beg anymore. Say, a Google, really never again? A piece of bread costs eight. That's not gonna last a while. And now she gave me 30. Like, she's going to go hungry after 15 days. 15 meals. Ugh, never again. All right, mace. Mace. 125, oh my god. This is so expensive. Probably have to do the freaking in between episode, uh, get all the money thing. Hey, oh, what is this? Oh, a potion. Poison. Oh. 
Oh, it's the landlord's servant. He was hiding behind a stone next to the cemetery when he saw the undead. He was too frightened to move. I'll help him back home to his master. I thought it was like odd. It was weirdly colored. Ooh, a torch. Aren't people glad that I'm just, you know, available for every use? And now talk to the ghost. Yay, gold rest in peace. Hey, stranger. Are you looking for some valuable stuff? The cemetery is full of it. I'm probably not going to. I'm going to open these graves, I'm telling you. They're full of gold. <sighs> hey, that was my clip. Yeah, that's what I thought. No more doing that. There's a strange dark crypt behind the cemetery. There is a black wizard standing in front of it. He is to blame for all the undead monsters at the cemetery. I must beat him. Six! Oh my god, you have so much! God, where am I getting all this money? What do you expect from me, game? Alright, I need six... Six magic potions. Six health potions and five dudes. Alright, I finished that one quest with uh, this, so give me money. Money. Thank you, my boy. I was too scared to go there by myself. 60 gold, alright. Anything else? Money. Landlord asked me to find a servant, yep. Uh, no money. Okay. The landlord was pretty happy when he realized his servant was alive. He invited me to a dinner as a reward. I have to say that it's been a while since I ate, last ate so well. And I stole some food. Uh, right. How many of these guys? Oh god. I, need one, two, three, four. I have no money! Yeah, um. That's. annoying. Oh, I can sell a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna sell stuff. Uh, you? Or is this where? No. This is where you are. Alright, yep, sell this. Sell these. Oh, I got some good money there. Um. Oh, hello, you. I met a man called Simon. Oh, hey! <laughs> I recall a madman from the swamp who jab jabbered his name. I described the madman to Simon, and he immediately knew what to do. It's his friend whose life was ruined when his wife died, and so did his children. The poor guy went mad. So he ran out of his house in the town, and Simon went to look for him. He knows what to do to make him sane again. He needs to drink the sun solution, of course, and more money. It will cure him. I promised Simon that I would take care of his friend. Uh... I don't have any thing to sell there. Oh, crayfish, right? I can sell the crayfish. Can I sell anything to you? I can sell any good stuff. But I need the sun solution. Alright, 60 gold for crayfish. And some mushrooms. Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't want to top. Do I? No, it's not too cool. Uh, money. Yeah, let's do it. Nice, my sweet money. What are you doing here? What do you want? Money. <laughs> oh, you want to know about... Yeah, I have not just going to give you money. Oh, hey, look. Fisherman advanced. He finally told me what he had been hiding. He told me about the le lake treasure. Algae, hooks, and other stuff. It took me quite some time to understand. It seems that there are lake algae that are very valuable. I need a hook to pick them. Oh, oh hello. Have you tried fishing on the south side of the lake? I think it's a good place for fishing now. Ooh. Oh, hook. Oh, barrels and hook. Okay, good. Ooh, a new place. Ooh, crayfish. Crayfish, 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 crayfish. Click it. Alright. The master fisherman is sad since the clerks in the town barred him from fishing. Oh. They told him that he had... Debits? Huh. They told him he had debits, but he doesn't know what they are talking about. Some of it's debts? Is that another way to say debt? Whatever. It has to be some kind of misunderstanding. He asked me to contact his friend in the fishing boat. His friend has a good relationship with those clerks, so he may be able to help the master fisherman. Oh, hungry guy. Yeah. I have this. Outside of him, so I'll give him my food. Oh, you gave me 12 fish. Why didn't you just eat the fish? Oh, okay. A lot of stuff back there. 
I found my friend with the Master Fisherman. I told him about the problem with the clerks. Oh, I see. I know about, about that case. I can help you. Master's friend told me everything. Delivery of valuable shielded fish for the army did not arrive as arranged. Oh. 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 And money. Wow, there's a lot of stuff down here. Oh, empty potion and barrel. Ooh, nice. Only have to, you have to get less now. Well, okay, this is actually a good place to stop. Uh, I'm probably going to do the whole get more money thing and strength. And uh, I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. But, you know, see you. Bye-bye.